Smart Notebook allows you to have a few different page views depending on what you're doing with the product. If you are editing, you probably want to be in this standard page display. However, if you're at the point where you're teaching the lesson to your students, you're likely going to want to use a different approach. So the view screen button is up here in the toolbar and to move to full screen you simply click and choose that option uh, from the menu. This is the, what I generally use when I'm presenting a lesson because you just see the content full screen and you don't see any of these other editing things over here. However, you can still from this menu option here, you can still uh, change pens and add shapes and add screen shades and do all, a lot of the things that you could do with those menu bars, but they're sort of hidden, so they're out of the way. There's also a few other options. You can insert some questions and things like that. You can also adjust um, how much of the page you would like to see. Um, the one with the horizontal arrow fills the page entirely, and the one with the vertical arrow uh, shows the entire page so you can see which option is going to work better for you. And then um, this option here is going to get you out of full screen mode. You can also just hit the escape key on your keyboard and that will give you the same response. You can also expand out your toolbar, so you have a few other options like adding pages, undo, and choosing some different tools and things like that. Another option in the view screen is the dual page display. This is particularly helpful if you would like to view two pages side by side and you can also from there you can still go to full screen. So in full screen you would see both pages side by side. You'll notice that this page has the blue highlighting around the edge. That means that this is the page that you would be manipulating. If you click over to this page then this is the page that you would be manipulating if you're doing anything with the menu options. And you can click through and use the same tools and things as you would use um, if it were a single page display. Again, you can use this button to get out of full screen or you can hit escape. And if you want to switch back to single screen, you simply click the view screen button and go back to single page display. Another option that you might not need as often but can still be very useful is under view screens you can go to transparent background. What that does is it gets rid of everything in the background and it simply puts your page on whatever you might have had in the background. So you might have another image, you might just have your empty desktop screen, that's another option there. And to get rid of that, you simply choose down here, you choose Exit Transparent Background, and then you're back in your file like you normally would be. Last but not least, in that same view screen option, you can choose some different percentages. Those are usually helpful for when you're editing, if you wanna see something a little bit smaller, a little bit larger, um, or if you need to particularly point something out for your students, you can use those options as well.